Hi guys, I'm Maddie, and today I will be talking to you about a very important topic. Things to do when you're bored. And specifically 10 of them. So, let's get started. Number one, play with a pet. Marsh, come back here. Hello, Marsh. Say hello. Playing with your dog or your pet can be a very fun time because, you know, dogs are usually just very energetic and always running around. And even if you're just doing something stupid like throwing the toy back and forth, playing fetch, they're pretty entertaining. And my favorite thing is when they roll on the floor and do this weird kind of like, you know what I'm talking about if you have a dog, they do that. This is just something that is guaranteed to always make you laugh and will at least get a smile out of you if you're feeling down, which is always good. And if you don't have a pet, I am pretty sure fish are like 10 cents. Number two, color in a coloring book. So we're just gonna take this handy dandy Hello Kitty coloring and activity book for ages three and up and this lovely large box of crayons. Okay, so maybe you don't need a Hello Kitty activity book and a giant box of crayons, but any small amount, even if you only have five crayons, it will do you a lot of good. It has also been proven that coloring, drawing, painting, etc. has been proven to lower stress and can keep you happier. It is also a great way to pass time. This is one of my personal favorites here. Let's count the ladybugs. I found out on this day there were 13. Number three, redecorate or clean up your room. I say redecorate because some of your rooms, and this is usually my room too, so I understand, just looks like a bomb went off in it. And you know, it cannot even be messy, it's just clothes everywhere. They're just all over the floor, you just don't know what to do with them, you know, so you just kind of like throw them. We all have that one chair that you just throw all of your clothes on, at the end of the day you're just like, yeah, I'll put it away tomorrow. Okay, well when you're bored, it is time to clear the chair. It might not be the funnest way to pass time, but it does pass time pretty quickly, depending on the amount you're cleaning and you know your room will look better in the end which just creates a better atmosphere redecorate if your room is already spotless like you know just maybe move things around try to rearrange furniture maybe see if it you can open up a new space in your room Wow, that re redecorating did so much. Number four, learn to make a new dessert. Now, I say a new dessert instead of learn to make a new food because desserts are extra super yummy in my tummy. A dessert can make anybody's day and you know, sometimes they can be a lot of fun to make. So look up a new recipe on Pinterest, Google, you know, they're really anywhere, maybe on YouTube even. If you're doing some decorating, I have a, a vlog on that. Go check it out. I, maybe this is just personally me, but I find to be baking desserts a lot of fun. And at the end, even if you didn't have fun making the dessert, you will at least get to bite into the richy goodness of the delicious brownie that you made. Number five, go watch some old Disney movies. Watching Disney movies can be extra great because they can take you back to your younger days of when you were sitting there on the couch watching Cinderella just thinking, that's gonna happen to me someday. It didn't happen, but it will take you back to the nostalgia of feeling that way. If you have a lot of time to spare and you're just super bored and don't know exactly what to do, that is a great way to pass time and to spend it doing something that will make you feel young again. When I say young again, I mean like four, not like I'm trying to advertise a skin cream that's like, oh, young again! You get the point. 
I personally would recommend Tangled, even though that came out when I was not that young, but I'm Rapunzel, so. Number six, play a card game. You can really do this anywhere, even if you're at work and you're thinking, I can't play a card game right now. Yes, you can. If you're sitting at school and you're thinking, I can't play a card game right now, you know, wait till lunch and then you can play a card game. They're just, honestly, you might be saying you're thinking, cards are for old people. They're really not. Like, once you start to play a really fun game like Rich Man Poor Man, or if you have four players, you can play Kemp's. And I would not recommend playing Kemp's with me because I get way too competitive and then I just start screaming and smacking down the cards. It's not pretty. But <laughs> card games are a lot of fun and they actually pass time very quickly and you usually end up just having a lot of fun. Number seven, build an indoor fort. So forts are not only just for little kids and even if you're alone and you're bored and there's you don't have any friends to build a fort with you or to sit in the fort with you, it's still okay because you can make a nice little small fort, you know, and then you can decorate it up nice with blankets and put pillows on the floor and, you know, bring a laptop or an iPad or even if you're lucky enough, you can somehow incorporate a TV into your fort and, you know, you could sit there and just create a nice little cool kind of movie TV watching room. Even though it's not a room, it's a fort, but it's cool, okay? Number eight, take a bath. I just feel like baths are always a good idea, especially if you're cold. You know, you could always take a hot bath and just kind of relieve your mind and just spend a nice little time taking a bath. Also, this is a big thing. Baths are not just for girls. They are not. Number nine, have a little dance party with yourself in your living room. See, now this is always something that's great because, you know, you can just turn on any song you want and just set up, maybe not even a speaker, you know, here's a fun trick to making your music louder without a speaker. You just take your handy dandy phone and get any sort of glass cup that it would fit into and just put the phone in the glass cup. It projects the sound and makes it a whole lot louder. It actually works pretty great and I do it all the time for my dance parties. You don't need anybody else. Dance by yourself. You know, you could just turn on your favorite song and just, you know, maybe it's time for you to try out those new moves that you saw on YouTube and you were thinking about doing, but, you know, you didn't want anybody to see you. So, you know, maybe it's time for that. And, you know, just, it's all you. Number 10, go listen to my I'm Done EP. It is available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Spotify, Deezer, yeah, I think that's it. And as a bonus, you can watch two of the official music videos on YouTube. Holding On and Mine are available now, so go check them out. Link in the description. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video, and well, I hope if you were bored, then this video helped you. I mean, maybe watching this video could have helped with your boredness. Maybe this should be 11 things to do when you're bored and one of them should be watching this video. Anyway, I hope you will try out these tips and if you do, please let me know in the comments down below and if you tried out one of these tips and it worked great for you and passed the time, you were happy afterwards and you were like, yeah, I'm so happy I did that comment down below if you tried out one of the tips and were like yeah that didn't work and this was not helpful you can also let me know down below go leave the hate comments anyway as always remember to click the subscribe button leave a comment down below and hit the thumbs up button and when you subscribe or if you're already subscribed remember to click the bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post a new video 
Also, you're going to want to keep a watch on the channel to see which official music video I'm going to be posting next from the songs on my I'm Done EP. And if you think you know which song, comment down below. Alright guys, that's all for today. See you next time.